Everybody, good to see you again. It's been a little while. So let's talk about the opposition between the Moon and Mercury in Sinistry today. So when you look at this opposition, you want to evaluate it uh, based on how emotional or impractical is the Mercury person and how practical or not emotional is the Moon person. Because if we have some balance there, if we have the Mercury person who is somewhat emotional or dreamy or sees things a little bit subjectively or irrationally. So how irrational is the Mercury person if they have a little bit of them that in them? Or if the Moon person has more rationality in them or more sort of concrete ways of, of being, then this can actually help because we have some balancing characteristics that are occurring just in the natal personalities. Now, if because we have such a an oppositional meeting of two uh, factors in the personality that are rational and irrational it's going to cause the moon person to really look to the mercury person to give their feelings or their thoughts or their 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 unconscious uh, needs to, to give that some kind of form or some kind of voice so they can come to rely on the Mercury person. And the Mercury person can get weary of this. They can uh, feel like they're there as a sounding board or support for the moon person, but they're not always considered. The moon person always isn't always reciprocal with that care. So the moon tends to absorb what the Mercury person does for them. And there isn't a whole lot of give and take when we have this opposition. So for some people, if we have some otherwise balancing characteristics, if we have a more idealist type of Mercury person, that can help. If we have a very rational Mercury person and a very emotional Moon person, that will very much exacerbate the problems that can come up as a result of having these two um, very differently motivated planets in an aspect of awareness. So we're achieving awareness anytime there is an opposition because we're right, right in each other's faces with a difference that in a lot of ways can be complementary. So if the Mercury person is okay with uh, giving form or reason or some kind of substance to the moon, the moon person's feelings or needs, then this can work out okay. For some people, they do like this opposition. For other people, they can feel uh, frustrated. Actually, both people can end up feeling frustrated if we do have some uh, larger differences in the temperaments. So you want to look at this opposition in light of the overall natal qualities. Do we have a Mercury person who's maybe a little bit um, dreamy or a moon person that uh, is extremely um, emotional or maybe a little bit more rational? And that'll tell you how this is going to work out a little bit better. If we have two idealists or two idealistic thinkers, then this doesn't tend to work out very well because... Um, we will have the moon person looking to the Mercury person to give form or substance or words to their their feelings. And, and the Mercury person is also going to be looking heavily to the moon person to, to be reciprocal. So it can be something that um, certain people like and certain people don't. So I hope that was helpful. If it was, please subscribe to my channel. You can find me on the internet at truthandaspectastrology.com, Facebook, Instagram, other social media. And I also have an option now to subscribe to my website if you want more content. I upload a lot more over there, and all my best work and content is over on my website. So check me out over there if you're looking for more content, and I'll be back super soon with more super cool videos. Bye.